So I'm going. I'm going Connor at 14. Yeah. You got Connor at 13, Big Coach. I'll take it. And then Fournette at 14. Okay. All right. That was more of a question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to tell you if your rankings are bad, though. All right. So 15. I'm going. I'm going Darius, guys. Yeah. You can eat your heart out. I think this is a can first, eat your heart out. first round talented player. I think I've heard multiple. Guess it, that was better than I would go seven, seven one. one. We're gonna need some video. We're gonna need some clips, some audio clips of, of the pops to compare. Yeah. Because I, I I can't remember what what the six nine was two weeks ago. Six eight <laughs> was today. <laughs> you said six seven. Six seven. All right. Eat your heart out, guys. So I'm going. So I'm going, guys. People, I've heard some, also some more talking heads talk about how everyone wants to hate on the Redskins and do this or that, but the Redskins were a playoff team before Alex Smith went down last year. That they were they were winning ball games. It's a good defense. It's a good offensive line. Alex Smith is a de- pretty decent game manager. They were they were they were a good team before Alex Smith got hurt. Like it, it wasn't nothing sexy about them. But I think you add Darius guys to this mix who is currently healthy and. This is just how ridiculous this whole thing that we do is. Is Darius guys had a hamstring tweak and it was weeks old by the time they re put this out and said, "Well, it's a hamstring tweak." Well, he's at practice right now, fine and a hundred percent. Like this is how ridiculous this whole ebb and flow of value is. It sucks. Trent Williams is holding out. And that is a bummer. But they do have a pretty good offensive line. They got either, Eric Flowers in either there. way, and I think regardless of who starts at quarterback, they'll be fine. And they got a pretty good defense. They they actually have a really good defense. But then everybody on that team got hurt surrounding Alex Smith getting hurt as well. Like the Redskins were just the most banged up team in the league for the last couple of years in a row. Um, so if, if you can get get it together, uh, Darius Geis to me, talent wise, is off the charts. I think he can catch the ball fine. You saw in training camp last year how well he was catching the ball and all the videos of him catching the ball. He just wants something that he wasn't asked to do in LSU. There's so, catches on tape of him in in LSU and it looked just fine. There's there's plenty of catches of him on tape in a Redskins uniform running good routes and having great catches. Now, obviously it's against air, but Okay, but there, so I mean at LSU there was catches like but not not a, not a not a crazy amount. No, but the ones that he did were handsy and yeah. looks great in space obviously and uh, he'll be just fine. So Darius guys, I clicked on DLF ADP and just hit the running backs. And there is everybody we've already talked about so far stops at four net. Connor's in that group going up. So going down is Josh Jacobs, Marlon Mack, Aaron Jones, David Montgomery, Damian Williams, Derrick Henry, Darius Geis. This is an ADP, not a ranking. So I'm reading off this list, but it is Dynasty startup. So you're talking about buying value and buying assets. And what Casey just said, like Marlon Mack, great situation, showed some good stuff. Aaron Jones, great situation, so showed some good stuff. David Montgomery, great situation, haven't seen anything in NFL yet, but has has a lot of tools. Damian Williams, perfect situation, played really, really, really well in that situation. Derrick Henry, when they decided they were going to clobber defenses with him, they sure. did. Then you get to Darius Geis. Darius Geis, the best running back out of all those players I just talked about. Agreed. He, nobody was talking about any of those other running backs. Maybe maybe Derrick Henry got the love because of what he did at Alabama, but he had uh, NFL offensive linemen blocking for him and playing against college players, and he was an NFL running back in college because he was just a absolute grown man when he was mm-hmm. 17 years old. But he's, he's you know, Derrick Henry, and he – you know, let us down a couple years in a row and everybody hates him. And now we start to love him again because he scored a bunch of touchdowns at the end of the year. Uh, but Darius guys and in, in 12 Darius guys hadn't had time to let us down yet. He looked, he looked amazing in preseason and blew his ACL out and he's coming back. I'm just saying like Marlon Mack, Aaron Jones, Damian Williams, all those guys well, are getting drafted ahead of him in startups for the most on average, on average. Right. But Darius guys is the physical talented freak who only has the ageless Adrian Peterson in front of him. Right. And so this time last year, Marlon Mack, we weren't sure we were just guessing this time last year, Aaron Jones, we weren't sure we were just guessing like right now. And we still kind of are right. Right. Exactly. My point, my point. Exactly. My point. Exactly. I literally just told you today, 
everybody listening to this right now, there's only there's twelve people in one startup, there's twelve people in another, so not this doesn't mean everything anything to everybody that's listening, but you will eventually see draft boards and we'll talk about it. I'm on the clock right now in these in the um uh, Patreon Dynasty League startups, the $50 league and the $100 league. I ended up jumping in both of them because I can't help myself. But <laughs> when I was telling Casey today, I avoided some players in these startups just because they are my two cheapest Dynasty leagues and I'm not going to have a ton of time to play the trade games. And I'm just, play, I'm just drafting assets so I can just have a squad and worry about it later and not even have time to worry about it later. And Darius Geis is just one of those guys. Right. Like I, he's 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 a he's an asset. He's young. He's awesome. Hangs out late. Would hang out with the fans. Everything he does on social media. He he is the kid that you would love to pull for. You know, he's everything you want in a right. dude in a in a in an awesome dude, awesome human being. And he loves you know loves being in Washington. He has never been seen publicly at least or tweeted anything negative about being on a losing team so far and he's all about like hey let's turn this thing in washington i'm I'm here i love it i love everything about the fan like i'm just bought in and he, i say use this negative publicity about his you know third surgeries and going in and clean up because he had some infections and the medical staff right uh, obviously shoddy in in washington and all this stuff and and the fact that nobody wants many Washington Redskins players on their team right now, I feel like in a startup, you got to take advantage of the Darius guys. hate. Uh, Pick uh, them up. Agree 100%. And I, th- I think uh, on top of all that, like you, you named a bunch of guys in front of them outside of Derrick Henry, which I forget where, where. Do you remember where Derrick Henry was drafted? The second round? What, in the NFL? Yeah. Uh, F- 45. I just, I just picked it up. Okay. Picked it up. Outside of that, like Darius Geis is a first round talent. There was a little bit of a kind of a weird situation and smear campaign where they asked him some oh, yeah, ridiculous yeah, yeah, questions. Yeah. yeah he yeah. was a first round talent yeah. running back that should have been drafted in the first round. When Forgot you get to Marlon Mack and when you get to all those other guys below him, outside of Derrick Henry, who had a good career at uh, um Bama. At Bama. Like Heisman Trophy winner, Derrick Henry. Darius Geis is a first round talent in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Marlon Mack is not Aaron Jones is not I'm not I'm not saying that that's the be all end all of anything what I'm saying that's is exactly what I meant when right, I went down that list is Marla Mack none of those guys are Darius guys Marla Mack could be replaced next year Aaron Jones could be replaced next year Derrick okay. Henry probably is going to be I think he's at the is this the last year of his deal mm-hmm. could be replaced in Tennessee if he doesn't do what he's supposed to do Damian Williams certainly not a first round talent in a great situation can't really argue I'm not going to put him up this side because he could certainly be out of a job next year just because well hey we spent a third round pick on whoever in the draft for the Kansas City Chiefs blah, obviously blah, blah. Jay Wayne's going to post this and everybody that's listening to this is in the league with me but Damian Williams is off the board already and he's one of the guys I was uh, I was I told you today on the phone I i stared clear of Damian Williams in these two startups just because I don't want to have to play the let me trade him while he's hot game. Right. I, I, I traded for Damian Williams in a home league. You mentioned it for 35 minutes ago. Yeah. I traded for him in a home league where I, I because I'm bragging rights, I care enough about it to look at it sometimes to try to make some trades. I got Damian Williams. And I'm not saying I don't care about these Patreon leagues. But you're ready leagues. to go. You're ready to have, win. I'm watching that. I have a ton of a ton of, ton of of leagues. You're I, ready yes, to win. Yes. You got a home good league team. where I traded for Damian Williams. You I got have Kareem Hunt who killed you. Yep. Yeah. So it's a good pickup. I got some good. I got Alva Kamara and I got. Um, what Rashad Penny kind of just waiting to figure out what's going on in Seattle, right? And I needed a plug-in play running back because I got some old awesome receivers. I got AJ and Julio and Ty, and I got Brandon Cooks is an old, but I needed a I right. needed a player. So going back to what you originally said, where I have guys ranked right now because he's the asset. All of these other guys could be replaced in a year. Darius guys is not being replaced in a year. Completely, Gruden agree. could be replaced in a year. Yep, and maybe then that hurts him because. It's not the guy that they brought in, but I think the transcendent talent is going to outweigh who was the coach and who was not the coach, where as Aaron Jones is a fourth-round pick, Marlon Max the third or a fourth-round pick, Derrick Henry is the second-round pick but could be on a new team and be back in the situation where he's split and carries because nobody believes that he's the workhorse after this year, potentially. Um, and Damian Williams could certainly be out. So all those guys that you named could be one and done and and just because they didn't produce so the i like what you said there the asset and darius guys leads me to put him above all these perfect guys. example i was on the board in this startup at five two and i was looking at taking marlon mack to help me win and i got a first round pick to trade back and go downhill 
to get an asset that won't be replaced next year that's not named Marlon Mack. I wanted to take Marlon Mack to try to help me win, but again, I wanted to take a, a more so, solid asset, and I got out of the way of Marlon Mack and let him go to somebody else. You moved down and got a first? Yeah, I traded down and got a first-round pick to move back. In the How much? Eight picks. Jeez. Dude, these guys are throwing around first. It's a 2021 first. Let me take this. I take two. I know we got to get back on track, but I'll take two seconds. I have it in all the FFPC leagues. When you're starting up, you can only trade one year's of rookie picks. You can't trade the second. In these startups that we're doing right now on Patreon, the 2021 first is like a, nothing. A third round throw pick. away. Try to pick them all up because it won't be but a year until you like them. Right. You know. Right. So and I mean, and you have to devalue it a little because it is a little far away. But and, I, and but and it's only natural because I did it too. When the dude offered me the pick, I I, I didn't want to take it at first because it was a twenty twenty one. I said right. if this was a twenty twenty second first, I would take it. But it's a twenty twenty one first, and I don't really want it. And he goes, Yeah, I figured you wouldn't want it as much. And it's only natural because twenty twenty is so hyped right now. There's no chance twenty twenty one could be any good Mm-mm. because twenty twenty is the best we've ever seen. Mm-hmm. So that and I and I I got paid that to move back and I actually moved another pick in the draft up in addition to and I just he just he bought it he wanted his man and he b- pushed me off the pick who did he get T Y Hilton All anyway right. so I got guys at fifteen anybody yeah. disagreeing I can't, I can't disagree I will say this. You don't have to take him over those I gr- players. I was agreed. And that's, that's kind of what I wanted to so get to. So let's get back this to the a, asset part. It's a ranking this deal. Is why it's not get, saying this, you need to take this guy exactly. over this guy. ADP will tell you that. Exactly. And now ADP, the A stands for average, and every guy, every draft is going to be different. And if Geis is your guy and you got to give him get him around ahead or you're going to lose your shit, then you take Geis. But you're still playing the asset game. So in the third... But in every draft I've seen, it's Marlon Mack, it's Aaron Jones. Exactly. It's Everyone's going in front of him. So, so if you like him, you got some take mobility. The, in that third round, just take a badass receiver. Take your Amari Cooper or your... Or, or, or some, trade. You know? Trade back, obviously. But, you know, take a badass... Take that asset. If there's not a if there's not a better asset running back in front, and you're looking at your Marlon Max and Aaron Jones, and if you don't want to take that gamble, which they could explode and be awesome, you could trade back or take another asset and end up with Darius Geis in the next round. One more thing to add to it, and let's get off Geis. All right. Uh, ADP is cool to look at. DLF, it's it's a, a decent parameter, even though some of these guys don't know what they're doing because you see Julian Edelman taking in, like, the fourth round of a startup, and you're like, what are you, what are you doing? Agreed. You're not, you're not. Agreed. So some of these people are fucking it up, but but generally it's a good idea. Another thing that you definitely want to look at is well, no matter what platform you're drafting on, they're going to give you players in an order. That is sort of their ADP, and that's what everybody is immediately looking at. Mm-hmm. So if you scroll down and Geis is a couple rounds down listed there, then you have a little more leeway to wait on him. Right. If Geis is up there and he's one of the next running backs on the board, then then that's the ADP. So you don't necessarily need to go to DLF to get ADP. You definitely need to be aware of whatever platform you're on and what order they're giving players to you in. Strong information there, Jay Wayne. All right, so let's move on to another asset. I'm going to go Josh Jacobs. And, and I think this next tier also embodies ADP versus uh, talent for me. So we could t- make a tier break there at, at Geist. Geist can be like his own tier, I guess. I mean, I don't really care about that part of it. It's just like where we're about to go, where Jacobs and Montgomery are the next two guys for me. Sounds like it's the next two guys for you. I'm yeah. putting Montgomery in front of Jacobs, but nobody's drafting that way. Right. Right. 